It was the night before it wasn't, and the house throughout the home, the stir of creation as quiet as a stone. The cold chimney open in its throated flu, what might come down if anybody knew. The twelve beds of children, their eyes in rapid moves, dangling sugar plums as nightmares often do, yelling out for their chief, but mama held her nap. No coal for the fire to warm this winter snap. When the outside lit up, though by a magic wand, an unidentified anomalous phenomenon. Away from the windows, the twelve children ran, freezing in paralysis to this night's veiled plan. Only as a moonlit snow would eleven heads remember the silent object's luster, its occupants unheard. A veiled of dancing dreams, the secret here rehearsed, came twelve tiny elves, and what was even worse, the twelfth child ridiculed as a lying fantasist, her description of the leader, a giant praying mantis. So from her rapid eyes, a witness she became, a whistleblower years later, she shouted out their names. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, Dunder and Blixen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, floating right through plaster, floating through it all. As dry leaves in a dust devil circle and fly, when meeting a flying object mounted to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with vials full of ovum and spermatosa too. And then in a twinkling, though holding up a mirror, the prancing and pawing, silencing each ear. As they drew in their heads and were turning around, down the cold chimney the praying mantis bound. She was dressed all in fur with the head of a wolf, an instrument of gold between the digits of her hoof. A bundle of vials, truth flung to her side. She peddled her story just as the military lied. Her eyes, how they twinkled with the mischievous mirth. Twelve little hybrids of manufactured birth. Her droll little mouth was drawn up like a pincer. The decider, the chooser, the secrecy convincer. The stump of a pipe in her fingers like buck teeth. The artifacts denominated to common belief. Each military project which studied this strange sect was strangely forgotten into a black hole of secrets. The special access program that captured such an elf strangely disappeared along with all their wealth. The secrecy, the scientists, their objects of production wiped away in amnesia an alien abduction. Congress should pass the full Schumer legislation because secrecy is the weapon that blinds this nation. Confiscate the tech by eminent domain and hypnotize who's left for what might remain. An exobiology of truth and reconciliation of the alien progenies time travel ovulation the zodiac of twelve nations, mirroring left from right, all children of God and to all a good night. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Not too late, Carter. So uh, this is a welcoming Ken Bo from Bisbee, Arizona. <laughs> 
a good friend of mine and um, we have about 30 pieces going from that all the way around to the door. Thank you. The and on the yeah. yeah, so. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, T. And you'll do some more. They may break yeah. into some recitation later while we're everyone's looking around. So, all right.